Hey guys, um, we are here out at Dogtopia at the uh, uh, just south of the Carnival Mall, and we are here with uh, Kip Meyerhofer, and he and his wife Michelle are co-owners here at Dogtopia. And so, uh, if you don't know, so we have kind of a, a list of, uh, of uh, grooming and boarding facilities and daycare facilities that we recommend. And so, Kip has uh, Kip is the owner of this one called Dogtopia. We're excited because they're fairly new to the area, and we want to hear about what they have to offer for your dogs. And um, so, tell us a little bit about Dogtopia. Well, the reason I like Dogtopia and this franchise in particular is they really figured out where pet parents want to be with taking and dropping off their dogs, their fuzzy, furry family members. Yeah. Um, this place and this franchise has really got a great formula built around the safety of their dogs okay. and transparency. So. A pet parent, just like with uh, the little kids these days, they drop their kids off at daycare and they want a camera to see what their kid's up to. Right. Same, same with the pets. They want a camera to be able to, to see what their, how their pups are playing. And we have the cameras running from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Oh, well. um, we're very much built on transparency. Once you take a tour of this place, you'll see windows everywhere. We have clients walking in all day long um, saying what they, what they heard about this place. And we say, well, take a look. Can I go back here? Absolutely, you can go back anywhere. We want you to come see what our, our dogs are all about. So um, we want you to see the brightness of the place, smell how fresh it is, take a look in our backyard. We keep it extremely clean. We're very proud of it. We want to be transparent. And um, it's extremely a safe environment. We have very highly trained canine coaches. Great. Um, study a lot of dog behaviors and right. Um, Going on and on, yeah. I'm probably and, uh, deep into your no, that's good. Already. Well, I, I, mean, I will say it, it doesn't smell like a, a, a boarding and kennel facility at all. I mean, it's got a really good smell to it, and definitely very transparent. I mean, there, there's windows for every room, and you can come and see and, and take a tour, which is a great thing. Um, tell me a little bit about what are your hours in terms of like pickup and, and drop offs and those kind of things. Yeah, we're we're really based around daycare, so. Okay. Um, People that want to drop off as early as 6.30 in the morning can drop off then, you know, and as late as 7.30 p.m. Now, not very few people use all of those hours, but right. for, for flexibility, when you have a late night or an early morning, we're going to be here available for you. That's Monday through Friday. On Saturdays, we're open from 10 until 5, and on okay. Sundays, from 10 until 2. Okay. And so they can pick up on Sundays or... Yep, yep. You're, and that's typically our, our boarding, although we do have a number of people that are using us for daycare on Saturdays when they have chores to get done, when they have company over, um, when they maybe are moving into a house, moving out of a house, cleaning up a house, right. um, parties. Yeah, okay. And, and tell if you go back to, you mentioned about the webcam access, so tell us how to, how to climb, log in, and what can they see? And that kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's really meant, meant for our clients. They can uh, actually we have a, an app available. Um, they can download an app, and they can get access to all the rooms. Our, our camera hours are in the same apartment as our lobby hours, which are really wide open. Um, from 7 to 7, they can see their, their dogs and open play on, on weekdays. Okay. Do you sell... Um, your, do you have packages at all, or is it kind of by the day in terms of how you price things out? Yeah, we have a, a wide range, and it really depends on, on your needs and how much you're going to leverage us. So, um, for some people who are just starting out, they may just want a half day to see how it works for their dog, and, and we're very good with that. We have a $16 for a half day. Um, some people want to buy a day here or there it's, um, that's available too. And then we have some clients that use us all the time. And they get the best deal for each other. That's, sure. that's a membership, a five day a week membership. So okay. it's, it's very broad from a five day a week membership to a half day. Okay, so there are memberships here that you can do. Um, let's see, and also, would you talk about any vaccines? You know, from my side point of being a vet, are there vaccines that you require and how you go about getting those? Like, I don't know if you get records or whatever. Yeah, we definitely require records. The, the rabies is a must have. Uh, Bordetella is a must-have, uh, Distemper is a must-have. Um, we also recommend um, that Bordetella is boosted every six months. It's not required, but it's recommended. We're seeing more and more um, of our peers seeing uh, flus break out, even coughs that are right. related to the, the flu. We don't require the flu shots, but more and more we're, we're recommending that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see, and how you know, how far in advance is a client 
you know, I guess you know, coming up on a bigger holiday or Labor Day's coming up here soon, but how far in advance do they need to call and, and book their appointment? Well, uh, right now we're, we're a brand new facility, so right. it's uh, capacity isn't our issue. Yeah, we can't wait till that's our issue. Sure. But yeah. right now we don't require uh, a long um, wait time. For okay, them. so they can call and come back and a tour. Yep. Do y'all have? I think you mentioned a little bit about. Um, maybe a first time dog that comes out here, do you have kind of a screening process or how they get along with others? Yeah, we, so we have a, what's called a meet and greet process. Okay. And, and we like to make sure that the dogs love it here. Um, and not all dogs do, right? I'd say most dogs do, but, sure. but there's some little old lady dogs that are nine years old and small and they don't even see themselves as a dog anymore. So right. this, this is not the right fit for them. This right. is for dogs that really um, can learn to socialize or are already socialized right um, so we make sure with the meeting group process um, we, we learn about the dog we learn about his behaviors uh, is there different types of dogs he really doesn't want to be around or different types of dogs he does want to be around where it's right. okay to touch them or it's not okay to touch them are they okay with the crates are they okay with the collars right so we learn a lot about a dog in, in 30 minutes and whether or not what it's going to take for that dog to really Similar here, right? And we can give a, a report back to a pet parent saying, recommend what we suggest before avoiding or heartbreak into Okay. And then tell us, I know when I was walking in here, and I've been here, uh, this is my second visit out to Dogtopia, but uh, there are three rooms, I believe, is that right? We're in the, we're in the beach room. Yep. Uh, what are the other two rooms, and kind of what, how do you utilize those? So we have three rooms um, and an outside, and all three rooms and the outside are all what I called dog parks. Okay. Uh, in other words, it's not like your, your living room inside. The, the dog is going to sniff differently. They're going to act like a pack differently. They're going to be on the on the equipment. There's going to be dogs in here. And, and they're not going to take that behavior at all. Right. Now, how, how we split up the dogs is by size and temperament. Okay. So for the most part, you'll notice in the front row are toy dogs or smaller dogs. And even within those, we might split up some of the dogs. Okay. Depending on the energy level in the room, the type of play is we'll have smaller dogs, smaller puppies, but sometimes uh, the puppies, uh, a 20 pound German Shepherd puppy in the ramp up just right. you may not want to have around a wee dog that's uh, right. eight, eight pounds. Makes sense. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll split it up and we'll, it'll change depending on the energy. Okay. So the toy boxes there are around the rooms in the middle and we have enough dogs to have three rooms back there. Most of them are pretty much nice. Okay. And then how often do they get to go outside to the, uh, the play area? Um, well, weather permitting, we like to take them out at least every hour. Okay. Um, now, we opened up in the dead in the summer, so, um, you know, we could go out there all the time, but nobody wants to. Right. Dogs don't want to be on coach and go out there. But I, I imagine in the fall and spring, we'll be out there more often. Okay. Right, we're good. Well, anything else you want to tell us about Dog Cookie as we wrap up? Um, well, in the heat of summer, we like to talk about how we're air conditioned, 68 degrees in here at all yeah, times. It feels good. Yeah. Um, and just really the safety of this place. The investment that we put in for uh, pet parents that want safety for their dogs while they're away, everything from the rubberized and compressed floors for their joints, um, walls that go all the way up to the ceiling to reduce the stress level of the sounds coming from room to room. Each room is. But as I mentioned, the air conditioning, but it also has UV lights to um, sterilize bad bacteria that might come through. Okay. So even if there is a food breakdown, at least we can contain it somewhat as, right. as much as possible. So, you know, that's, that's just a few examples. We have cleaning products and processes, we have training, we have all kinds of things that this franchise really invested in, and we've invested into the facility, the people, the processes for the safety of, of the dogs. Okay. And, um, you know, we just add in a, a loving culture Okay. Well, so uh, again, if you're interested in a boarding uh, or daycare center facility, uh, come check out Dogtopia out here, and uh, they offer a really great package and a lot of great, um, a lot of great things to offer here for your dog. So, give them a take a look at their website and uh, come out and take a tour.